Welcome to the CBT Micro Nuggets for Office 2013 on putting YouTube video into PowerPoint. I'm Chris Ward, and I know many of you have noticed if you've read any of the books that Microsoft has put out or gone online and seeing how it says, hey, you can add online video to your PowerPoint presentations. And then when you go in and you try it, you'll find out that, yeah, that means your OneDrive or Facebook and pretty much anything else is out to lunch. YouTube, of course, being the biggest and the largest, is probably one that most of us want to try to get into our presentations. So let's show you a few things you need in order to do it, and then we'll show you exactly how to do it. In order for this to work, there's a couple of things you need to know. First off, you will need to have an internet connection when you're doing your presentation, otherwise you won't be able to get out to the internet and then you won't be able to obviously access that YouTube connection that you have. You're also gonna have to add developer functionality to PowerPoint. Real simple, I'll show you how to do it. And then finally, you need to find that YouTube video you want and make sure that you have it open up in a browser, pause it so it doesn't keep playing and continue on to another video you don't want and just leave it right there and then it's time to get started. So what I've done so far is I've opened up PowerPoint and I created a brand new blank PowerPoint presentation. I'm using the Celestial theme. Of course, if I come over here to design, you can see that I have it set up right here. This is going to be used by all the slides. And that really has nothing to do with adding the video from YouTube. But let's say I'm going to do one on how to use CBT Nuggets the best. I know that's not great English with Keith Barker, because Keith has actually done a really cool little YouTube video on how to do this. So I'm going to come over here. Let's go ahead and add a new slide. I'm just going to go ahead and do title only and say, watch this video. Below, I want to insert the YouTube video. But how do I do that? Because remember, this you can do an insert here, and when I do video, my only options are online video, which is going to be, by the way, when I select on this, it's going to be anything that's in my OneDrive, or currently you can do this from Facebook because of the integration that they have. Problem is, we want to do YouTube, don't we? Have that great video that Keith has out there on YouTube. Well, what I need to do before I can even get into this is I am going to need to add one more tab. So I go to Options, I go to Customize the Ribbon, and you'll notice that one of the only tabs that's not working is Developer. So I select that and I click OK. The reason why is because I'm literally inserting a shockwave object because YouTube currently is utilizing that type of delivery system. Now, just understand, this could change at any time. So if you're watching this nugget and you try this and it's not working, hopefully I will have found out the new and greatest way of doing this. You can do it that way. So we come over here to Developer. And what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and add what is known as a control. Now, when you select this, it gives you a list of all kinds of great things that you can do. In this case, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select a shockwave flash object. I do that. I click OK. And then notice my mouse now changes to that crosshairs. And so I'm going to go ahead and create one about that big. So that way the video is on there. And it will create this marker, this placeholder for that object. Now to get to this, I do need to look at the properties of this particular object. When I come over here, I'll move this over here just a little bit so you can see. And what I'm going to need to do is place into the movie the actual web address of this particular video. So let me go ahead and open up my, uh, got my browser open here, got my Chrome. And you'll see that I've gone on here and here's my CBT Micro Nugget by Keith Barker on how to jumpstart your CBT Nuggets experience. Normally, you would go down here and you'd click share, right? You'd say share and you'd find uh, share this video embed or email. Instead, you want to come up here. You want to select this. Okay, so hit control C and then I come down here and I come down to my movie and I hit control V and then you need to make some changes to the actual link here. The first is you need to get rid of this equal sign in front of the link. You'll always notice that it, it'll do a YouTube at the end and equal and then it has the little code that they have here. I'm going to delete that and make it with a forward slash. And then over here under V, the same thing. You're going to backspace through the question mark and where it says watch and you're just going to leave the V alone right there. So once you've done that, you've got that set up, YouTube set, ready to go. And now all you need to do, if you want, is I can, of course, 
click on, uh, and I'll do this as a slideshow. Let's see here, set up my slideshow. I'm gonna make this as a window so that way you can see it within my screen. And so when I click on this, you'll notice here it is. Here is the video ready to rock and roll. And all I need to do is press play, and there's Keith Barker playing his video right in my PowerPoint presentation. So that's pretty much it. I'll go ahead and escape right there. That'll pause it. You'll notice it now stays in here. The controls will, of course, be on the web connection itself, or I should say the file that's located up there. If you want to make any changes or anything, you have to click on it and then rewind and do that once you're doing the presentation. But that is a simple and quick way of looking at how to get your YouTube videos into your PowerPoint presentation. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for joining me.